The move by the Lagos state government to generate a comprehensive database of all persons residing in the state has moved a notch higher with the launch of an upgraded and chip-embedded smart residency card by the Lagos State Residence Registration Agency, LASRA. Governor Babajide Sanwolu unveiled the residency card at the police college in Ikeja, where he says 10 million people will be captured on the database before the end of the year. Knowing the actual number of people who reside in Lagos State is the reason behind this gathering at the police college in Ikeja. In June 2011, the Lagos State Government passed the Residence Registration Agency Bill into law and formally launched the enrollment exercise in 2013 during the administration of Baba Tunde Fashola, who currently serves as the Minister of Works and Housing. <laughs> Governor Babajide Sonwolu is well aware of the importance of data collection for the commercial city. Enough reason for him to ensure he personally launches the upgraded lateral card. The state government is also leveraging global digitalization for better service delivery to the people. This new card is a multi-purpose smart card with 28 applets that make the provision of 28 services possible to card holders. The new card is therefore a multi-application smart card that offers registered residents access to services ranging from serving as a means of personal security and identity verification at points of accessing gov various government services, validation of your residency status, and also financial inclusiveness by providing every resident with the ability to perform cashless transactions. The card can also be used as a mode of payment for services across multiple legal state government vendors, like our, our different modes of transportation, the buses, the ferries, and of course the trains when they do start. Health facilities as well for cash withdrawals from banks, automated um, teller machines, the ATMs, that's just to mention a few. This card is the first of its kind across West Africa. Now, why did we decide on upgrading the old resident ID card from the previous simple plastic format to a smart card? The need to transition the card from the plastic card to something that is more relevant through technology is very and has become very compelling. We are in the age of global digitalization. Our people cannot afford to be disadvantaged. We need to create and widen opportunities for more people to access and benefit from government services and create opportunities for financial inclusion. The Smart Residency Card is an evidence of the state's government's smart city projects that would help prevent duplication of profile in Lagos. The LASRA ID card scheme is a critical component of the smart city implementation. The increasing socioeconomic needs of the populace juxtaposed with the economic potential that exists in Lagos requires a robust identification system as its foundational layer. The Lagos State Government, under the visionary leadership of Governor Babajide Sonwolu, recognize that identity is the catalyst for seismic and sustained economic growth. This new identity paradigm in Lagos tagged LASRA 2.0, that is what uh, we have called it, adopts industry-leading technology with world-class partners to deliver a comprehensive and elastic identity system that is future-proof and highly secure. The new LASRA identity system utilizes an industry standard biometric engine that does deduplication. So what that basically means is that it's a system that helps eliminate occurrences of identity duplication. That's very important in a world of uh, cybersecurity uh, concerns, in a world of um, identity mismatch. Um, it is good that we have a system that, you know, actively seeks out um, duplicated identity uh, profiles. This helps uh, not only uh, with securing citizens' identity, but even with the systems that we adopt in terms of storage. It is important for storage utilization because the more people we capture, the more database space we need. It's a welcome development for those in the private sector. For many years now, we have spoken extensively about financial inclusion. 
And what we assumed was that the moment somebody had a bank account, the person was financially included. Our objective for partnering with LASRA is to make sure that every single person who carries this card and resides in Lagos has access to some form of credit or the other. Because access to credit is the true definition of financial inclusion. So for the record, if you are carrying a last record, count it, take it for granted that you would have an opportunity to access instant credit from Sterling Bank. And in the first phase, that credit will be dedicated to, to, to be used in our public transport system. And as LASRA unveils more opportunities, we will also extend the credit to that. The goal is to capture 10 million residents on the database before the end of year 2022. In the last three years, we've seen fourfold incremental in the number of registrations. To date, I'm told that we have registered a total of 6.5 million Lagosians into our database. That's a large number. I think they, we deserve a round of applause. And we're planning to upscale to about 10 million after today's launch before the end of the year. Today's relaunch event is born out of the need to embrace change and to align with global best practices. What we're doing is upgrading the Lagos residents card from an ordinary plastic card meant only for identification purpose to a smart multi-purpose card that combines biometric identification with other functionalities and benefits that cuts across such as security, financial services, mobility, and access to government services and amenities. On security, as the nation's commercial nerve center, Lagos State experiences significant level of inbound daily migration of people seeking economic opportunities and a better life, like explained by our MC now. As a result of our population, which currently we know it exceeds over 22 million, is rising rapidly with obvious implications for social services, social infrastructure, and security. It is therefore become imperative for the government to re-examine strategies aimed at improving the security of lives and properties of the people of Lagos State. This smart resident card will help address the issues surrounding the identification and traceability of Lagos residents. And the ultimate help will inform government's planning and provisions of services designed to secure the lives and property of its citizens. Let me now use this opportunity to solicit the cooperation of all residents and acquire this Lagos State resident card, i.e. Lagos ID. We cannot make this investment and our citizens will not buy into it. I want to use this up to call on all of us, to call on all of us, let us acquire this Lagos resident card. And it will help us enjoy the many, many benefits on offer and enable us more thoroughly and effectively plan and budget for the delivery of the dividends of democracy against the backdrop of our ever-growing population. He sets an example as he unveils the multi-purpose identification card with his personal details. The new residency card comes with biometric features that will provide financial services, transportation and access to government services.